Optical disc storage, such as CDs and DVDs, is a magnetic disc that consists of concentric tracks and sectors and spins at a constant speed, also known as constant angular velocity. The outside sectors are larger and spin faster past the read and write head than the inner sectors. This is a waste of storage, but can increase the speed of data retrieval. When you put your optical discs like CDs or DVDs into a player, a laser shines through the protective layer where data is recorded. The photo detector converts the intensity of the light into a digital signal of ones and zeros. Blu-ray discs are the same size physically, but the blue-violet laser is different, not just in terms of color, but the laser can write on a much thinner layer on the disc, allowing multiple layers to be written on top of each other, increasing the amount of data that can be stored. Finally, we have flash memory. It is a type of electrically erasable programmable read-only memory. The perk of it is that it can store data securely even if it has been removed from a power source. It was originally designed to store boot-up information, but now it is used for many devices, like mobiles, music players, and cameras. Solid-state drives are very fast and are very popular with avid computer users. Make sure to buy one of good quality, because every time data is erased, it is flashed with high voltage, and this can make the gate unstable over time. We have looked into the device manager and learned of devices associated with it. They all have their associated seek strategies to extract data, and each have their own advantages and disadvantages. I have been Sean, and in the next tutorial, we will finally be looking at the file manager and wrap up the operating systems tutorials. Do not forget to subscribe to the SMKS channel or visit the website at www.smks.co.uk.